Auckland Street here in downtown Auckland, New Zealand. It's called the Manuka Doctor. Uh, <laughs> there's more Manuka honey has been sold than what he can produce. So you've also got anti-aging uh, creams now. Um, the the bee, uh, the wax that if you put it on a wound, it'll heal without a scar. All those kind of Manuka honey here in New Zealand. That's a shop. a uh, Maori figure in a kaitaka cloak. It's a traditional landowner of New Zealand. This is the Sky Tower there. Green buses. There we are. Um, Chinese students exchanging cash here at Western Union. Uh, <laughs> there we are. Here at the uh, center. That's the uh, telecom tower. Uh, also, you could do a little bit of bungee and climbing. So, Just walking in Auckland city centre area. Uh, much of the time, what I'm seeing here is, is just a Chinese takeaway places, Chinese food stalls, and also the souvenir shops, which are also probably owned by the Chinese. And uh, very little of its the traditional things. So very much, I would say, uh, there's a very large community of Orientals and Asians here in Oakland, and. Uh, very much been taken over <laughs> and uh, so the traditional way of doing things is slowly slipping away to being Chinese very much and uh, nothing is going to be how it used to be so yeah it's just bringing in large amount of cash the Chinese and then buying everything out everywhere you go there DP money exchange another Chinese joint everything is Chinese absolutely all okay If I will try and see if I can find Maori food, no, it might be Thai food, Arabic food, Middle Eastern food, Brazilian food. It's got all the foods apart from Maori food. There we are. All the food halls. The food halls are from all kinds. Yet, the Maori food is not about Middle Eastern cuisine, Indian cuisine, the Chinese cuisine, but not Maori food. Maori food isn't here. So all I've got is steam rice. Chinese, more Chinese food. More Chinese food. Well, Coca-Cola, more Chinese food, more Chinese food, what is this, Korean food, those are Korean specials, and more Chinese foods, and Coca-Cola. And the Indian food. Well, well, well. Walking down 
New Zealand, but I just cannot find anything traditional. Nothing traditional about no food. No traditional food being served. It's either Chinese or it's either be American rubbish, Starbucks, or Burger Kings and McDonald's and all that crap. Or the Chinese food. Or the Thai food, or the Vietnamese food. I don't want any of that shit. I eat it all around the world. I want some proper Maori food. Just can't find it anywhere. Just cannot find it anywhere at all. So, I just rest my the downgraded version of the uh, Burlington Arcade in London. Uh, so, yeah, I just try to copy that exact features when the British were here. So, yeah, now they've got bakeries, hairdressers, nail filers, Lucky Stars, Lucky Star Mart. Whoa. And a lot of the, a lot of the artificial rubbish. Anyway, so this is it. This, uh, a replication of Burlington Arcade. It's a Burlington Arcade. That's Korean and Japanese. Everything is Korean, Japanese or Chinese. That's all we've got here in New Zealand. Nothing about British way of life or the Maori way of life here anymore. There's the M, there's the Pi. Kiwi legend is back. There's the M, there's the Pi. What's the difference? It's served at McDonald's. Catering locally, no hungry food. The Backpackers Center. Friends.com Embar Modern Karaoke and Backpackers Anchoring Spot Here in Auckland Youth Hostel Right here with the pink And the Hempstow What a coincidence Hempstow right next to Student Bar <laughs> Fantastic